Today on LSX TV, we take you to the shop of Billy Briggs, a top LS engine builder, as he finishes off our 427 cubic inch LSX block race engine. Do it again, are we on? Okay. We'll show you the all pro cylinder heads, the Jessel rocker arms, and the comp cans valve train that will help our LSX 427 make over 1200 horsepower with the help of twin Turbonetics turbos. On a previous segment, we saw Billy build the short block of the turbocharged 427. Starting with the GM Performance Parts LSX block, we installed a Lunati Pro Series billet crankshaft, Lunati Pro mod rods and JE custom pistons, all topped with an ARE oil pan. Overall, we had a 427 that would provide a solid foundation for monster horsepower, with a turbo-friendly 8.5 to 1 compression ratio. We began by installing the Comp Cam's hydraulic roller camshaft custom designed by Billy Briggs and Comp. With a little over 600 lift, it would work with the Comp Cam's LSX hydraulic roller lifters and the Scoggin Dickey supplied GM LS7 camshaft retainer. Cylinder heads would come from All Pro, fully CNC ported to flow enough air for the 1000 plus horsepower engine. This is the All Pro cylinder head known as the W series. Um, we chose it because it's a square port as opposed to a cathedral port which is uh, quite a bit better in airflow than the old cathedral port cylinder heads. The head is already set up for six bolts. The deck surface is substantially thicker than most other aftermarket cylinder heads. The quality of the aluminum that they use at All Pro is better than most other aftermarket cylinder heads. The intake diameter is 2200 and the exhaust diameter is 1600. Uh, both with a 516 stem. They're both stainless steel. The exhaust valve is an extreme duty. Uh, style material, which uh, is better, lends itself better to turbocharged applications or high heat motors. We've had them ported by West Coast cylinder heads to uh, increase the airflow. Richard does a very good job on these and has a specific program designed for the all pro cylinder heads. Rev would provide the intake and exhaust valves for our application, which would work with CompCam's valve springs, titanium retainers and locks to control the valve train for maximum durability. Before the heads were installed, we slid the comp lifters into the bores and then lowered the All Pro LS7 heads onto the block. Sealing was ensured by using the six head bolt pattern as supplied for the GM LSX block, as well as custom ARP head studs that were carefully torqued by Billy. After a few other finishing touches, we began to work on installing the Jessel valve train. Jessel is one of the premier rocker arm companies in the world, with its products winning thousands of championships all over the world. We selected a set of 171 Jessel Mohawk shaft rockers, specifically designed for the All Pro LS7 square port cylinder heads. We covered up the Jessels with these valve covers from ARE. Finally, it was time to install the GM Performance Parts LS7 carbureted intake manifold, which was also supplied by Scott and Dickey. With the long block almost completed, we only needed to add our fast throttle body, fast half-inch fuel rails, and the fast 160-pound fuel injectors to wrap everything up. Now, all there's left to do is to find a suitable home for our LSX 427. Complete with these Turbonetics twin turbos, we're going to find a nasty street car for Billy's 427, turn up the boost and see how she does. With up to 1200 horsepower on tap, this is one 427 that isn't going to be caught from behind. <laughs>